गाइस आई एम योर जाहिद सर हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड यू नो द करेंट सिनेरियो ऑफ द कंट्री एंड द स्टेट ऑफ असम इज नॉट गुड बिकॉज ऑफ द पेंडेमिक कोरोना वायरस और कोविड नाइन्टीन वायरस एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉकडाउन इट हेज नॉट बीन पॉसिबल टू कंडक्ट द नॉर्मल क्लासेस दैट इज वाई आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू मेक सम वीडियोज ऑन सम टॉपिक्स विच आर वेरी मच रिलिवेंट एंड इम्पोर्टेंट एज फार एज योर बायोलॉजी सिलेबास इज कंसर्न आई विल डिस्कस द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट यूनिट ऑफ योर बायोलॉजी दैट इज द यूनिट ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन द यूनिट ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन अंडर दिस यूनिट देर आर फोर सेप्टर्स टू सेप्टर्स भूटानी एंड टू वेक्टर्स बिलोंग टू टू सेप्टर्स बिलोंग टू जुलोजी अंडर द भूटानी पोर्शन यू विल हैव टू सेप्टर दैट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेजम्स एंड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लोइंग प्लेंट्स सो नाउ आई एम नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट दिस टू भूटानी सेप्टर्स नाउ आई टोटली फोकस ऑन द जुलोजी पोर्शंस हियर यू हैव टू स्टडी टू सेक्टर्स वन सेक्टर इज ह्यूमेन रिप्रोडक्शन ह्यूमेन रिप्रोडक्शन एंड द सेकेंड इज रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल मेनली फोकस ऑन द सेक्टर ह्यूमेन रिप्रोडक्शन It's very very important chapter as far as your council exams or any kind of medical and entrance exam is concerned. So, without spending so much time, let's focus on the main topic that is human reproduction. You know, reproduction is basically a process by which the continuation of race is maintained. that means generation after generation the race is continued by the process called reproduction since we are focusing on human reproduction so before going into details of the main topic we will have to ha we will have we will have to get some ideas about few terms and terminologies you know human are unisexual organisms human are unisexual organisms that means what humans possess only one sex only one sex either male or he or she can be female male will bear only one particular sex and female will be only one particular sex that is why we call human as unisexual organisms now the second characteristics of human is they show sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism now from the term itself we can easily understand that di means two and morphism has come from the word morphology you know morphology deals with the external features or characteristics that means what sexual dimorphism means that means male and female will totally look different already we have come to know that human are unisexual organisms that means they have male and female and male and female look totally different because of the some external or some internal features now male looks like male because male possesses some male sex hormone 
likewise female possess some female sex hormone and because of these sex hormones the male and female totally look different and because of the external genitalia or uh, some external features they are totally different now we'll come to the main topic now this human refraction takes place in some phases that means the total reproductive process in case of human being takes place in certain phases now there are total nine phases under human refraction or human reproduction is completed in nine phases now we'll discuss what are the nine phases the first phase of human reproduction is gametogenesis gametogenesis now from the term gametogenesis genesis means formation gameto means gamete that means what gametogenesis is the process of formation of gametes now under gametogenesis there are two processes one is spermatogenesis and another is called oogenesis oogenesis spermatogenesis is the process of formation of sperms and oogenesis is the process of formation of egg cell or ovum which basically takes place in case of female this is the first step or phase of human reproduction the second phase is called the insemination the second phase is called the insemination what is insemination insemination means the transfer of sperms insemination basically means transfer of sperms transfer of sperms into the female reproductive tract into the female reproductive tract into the female reproductive tract is the process simply uh, insemination means transfer because when the male sperms are produced they are to be transferred into the female reproductive tract so that the fertilization takes place now the third phase is called the fertilization third phase is called the fertilization now fertilization means the fusion of male gamete we know the male gamete is sperm and the female gamete is ovum or egg cell the sperm is haploid and the ovum is also haploid that means what when the sperm and ovum fuses together it results in the formation of zygote which is a diploid which is a diploid now fourth phase is the division phase division phase or it is also known as it is also known as cleavage phase cleavage phase now the process of fertilization takes place in a long tube like structure which we call as fallopian tube now inside the fallopian tube fertilization takes place now this zygote undergoes repeated division and it will result into some structure from one cell structure to two cell structure to two four cell structures four four to eight cell structures and so on that means we will get some stages which is generally called molecular stage or blastula stage etc now next phase of human reproduction is that is the implantation im 
implantation implantation now after undergoing division the zygote has to be fixed inside the uterus so that a proper connection can be made between the maternal tissue and the fetal tissue because the fetal tissue requires nutrition and this nutrition will be given by the mother that is why a proper connection is required and in order to do that the zygote is to be fixed inside the uterus and this fixation of the zygote inside the uterus is called implantation is called the implantation this is the fifth phase now let's come to the next phase that is sixth phase and it is the placentation it is called the placentation placentation means simply the formation of placenta it is the formation of placenta i have already told you that a proper connection is required between the maternal tissue and the fetal tissue and the connection is called the placenta in order to make the connection between the maternal tissue and fetal tissue is uh, uh, it's required because nutrition will be provided by the maternal tissue and this function will be taken over or carried out or carried by placenta placenta will help in passages of nutrients or nutrition to the maternal tissue or the new or the fetus simply we can call it as fetus next stage or next phase is called the gastrulation 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 simply means the formation of three germ layers gastrulation means formation of three germ layers and we have already uh, come to know about these germ layers what are the three germ layers these germ layers are ectoderm then mesoderm and the innermost layer is called the endoderm these three layers will give rise to the future organs tissues or organ system of the body right now let's come to the next phase and the eighth phase is called the organogenesis 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 means formation of organs and organ system these organs or organ systems are formed or derived from all these three germ layers that means ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm will give rise to various organs tissues and organ system that means organogenesis is the process of formation of organs organs tissues or organ system or organ system from the three germ layers now the last phase of the human reproduction process is known as parturition is known as parturition now we have already come to know that the fetus is about to be developed it has developed all the organs it has developed all the tissue or the organ system now the baby or the fetus is ready to be delivered and when the fully matured baby is expelled from the mother's body is known as parturition now 
simply we can say that the separation of the baby from the mother is known as parceration simply we can say expulsion or delivery or delivery now in this regard we must know one thing that the whole process the whole duration from the point of fertilization from the point of fertilization up to parceration up to parceration a time span is required that means in order to become fully matured the baby or the fetus requires a time period the full development from the time of fertilization up to the delivery this total duration or time span is known as gestation period is known as gestation period and in case of human being the gestation period is about 280 days or 9 months that means for the total development of the baby from the time of fertilization up to the delivery it requires around 280 days or 9 months and this is called the gestation period now we have already discussed the nine phases of human reproduction so i want I, and i expect from you that please you go through all the nine phases and have some ideas about this see or since though all the nine phases are written or described here in the number wise real wise but i will not discuss the first phase that is gametogenesis first because in order to the in order to be the gamete to be formed or uh, transfer of sperms all these processes require some structures require some systems so i will come to that system first then i will discuss one by one phases in the subsequent classes i hope you enjoyed the class in the subsequent videos or in the next class i will be discussing the male reproductive system and female reproductive system thank you so much